friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery and see the beautiful red glow the microscope is true glow from upper sami associates it has oblique illumination as well as stereo coaxial illumination the stereo coaxial illumination increases the depth perception to a great extent and you can in this case you can see the nucleus and the epinucleus separately just by the red glow and i am doing this rexis along the border of the nucleus that is along the margin which divides the nucleus with the epinucleus and in this case i did rexis in clockwise movement capsular excess is done now hydro dissection bss is passed and as the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator the red glow decreases this is uh, this is normal the nucleus is rotated uh, now is the time to introduce feco hand paste and the machine that i am using in this case is galaxy leo feco machine from apasami associates this is a new ot with this two equipments and see the efficiency of this feco machine this is galaxy leo from apasami associates this machine has active fluidics and the anterior chamber stability is just superb and see the submarine job with this microscope here it is the nucleus divides completely into two halves and now this hemineucleus is again divided into two halves then i rotate go to the other hemineucleus go through the substance the lens matter hold it nicely and chop it and now each free nuclear fragment is again subdivided into two smaller parts and then it is emulsified and removed chopping has been done in continuous mode and emulsification of the pieces is being done in the o pulse mode o pulse is occlusion pulse mode in o pulse mode as soon as the teeth gets occluded the mode changes itself to pulse mode and followability of the pieces increases and ultrasonic delivery is less in opal mode now here there is a little joining here it is broken and now each nuclear piece is held and emulsified i'm very careful very slow in with this machine because i'm using it not for a very long time and but i find that the antechamber stability is excellent there is no surge and i can quite comfortably emulsify the pieces and now this is the epinucleus and see as soon as the epinucleus is removed the red glow again increases and now cortical clean up will be just a matter of joy with this beautiful red glow and here it is we can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration 
but in this case I used a 23G Simcoe cannula. Yes, the cortical cleanup is done. I didn't have to go through the side port in this case. I could manage cortical cleanup 360 degree through the main incision. And now this is hydro polish. Irrigating fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and the cells that sticks to the posterior capsule get dislodged and the posterior capsule becomes very clean. And now this is hydro implantation of supra fove from upper semi associates. Supra fove is a hydrophobic single piece non aspheric intraocular lens and it's a beautiful lens. No glistening has been observed in three years follow up. The opening or unfolding of the lens is slow so it will take some time to get centered. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now the side boards are closed by corneal stromal hydration. When we hydrate, we should inject fluid towards the sclera, not towards the cornea to prevent DMD, that is decimates membrane detachment. Yes, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and if you are from India. Please take a demo of True Glow Microscope of Apasami Associates.